talking perhaps about your new album and why not talk about your new album great That's good to know one small omission um ham and gamble the local star you were in fact at one time going to record one of his numbers yes, what happened there um god i mean there we go it's like it was just originally i was with island records and um i fell out with chris blackwell the head of the record company over the fact that he thought there were too many ballads on the album like Hammond's tunes are a ballad, you know. And um, so I don't know, I, I, I split with Island, made a deal with Capital, and like part of the pact was that, you know, they, we just, actually, it wasn't really a pact, we just sort of, more or less, they, they wanted half the original album. And I, I own the songs now, so Hammond's song will come up eventually, you know. I mean, whether I, you know, I'm, May, unfortunately, it might just be a B-side of a, a single, but... Um, Obviously, it's a song you like, otherwise you wouldn't have... Uh... Yeah, I'm trying to remember how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> do, do you find that audiences will accept your singing new stuff, or do they always want the old things? Um, in, in a place like Australia, I mean, you know, I know you two don't always get along, right, but down under here, um, I find there's always that, you know, feeling for the older material. You know, we, we started doing Hitchcock Railway again. And as soon as the opening bars come into that, the audience go crazy, you know. Did you, uh, you parted on good terms with uh, Sly and Robbie and your Sheffield Steel album? Yes, I mean, actually we never, we wanted to do some live work together. And uh, that never sort of came to fruit, fruition or fruition or whatever they call it. But uh, again, I mean, there were just problems with Island Records. I, uh, and these, these are problems that would hopefully be sorted out fairly quickly? Well, I'm hoping, like, I've got a real tight band now with me. You know, I've got a new drummer, a new bass player, a new girl singer, and, you know, just about everybody agrees who hears us that we've, things are a lot tighter. So I'm hoping I can take the outfit at least to do, four, you know, three or four tracks for them. Generally, are you, are you keeping in good shape? You notice that not once in the interview have I mentioned booze? Yes. I still keep a healthy gut. I can never resist the beer, you know, it keeps me flowing. But um, I've not been doing bad, I mean, you know, apart from a few bottles of Bow Johnny that you know, the Australians are very fond of, or the management are, got me wiped out a couple of nights. Yeah. And apart from that, fit and well, and the only mistake you've made over the last year that I've heard of is you back Watford in the FA Cup. Still, you can't win them all. Yes, but I'm saying, you know, one rock and roller to another Elton there. I had to give him Reggie Dwight, I had to give him a shot, but um, they lost rather miserably, didn't they? But to a good team. Joe, thanks very much. Thank you, Dan. Dylan, right? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I'm going to call you Dwight for the minute.